Today, San Antonio will say goodbye to police officer Miguel Moreno. The 32-year-old's funeral is set to begin at 10 this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Marvin Hirsch joins us from where the procession to his funeral services will begin. And Marvin, as we've seen in the past, we know it's not going to be just local law enforcement that shows up, right? Yeah, this is going to be huge. You know, Officer Moreno's family is kind enough to share his final services with the general public and, of course, with law enforcement from all over the state of Texas and uh, across the country as well. I talked to SAPD. They tell me that they have fielded calls from as far away as New York and even Canada, but certainly we're expecting law enforcement from all over Texas to show up here this morning. Uh, so far, they have not gathered here in the uh, parking lot here at the Alamo Dome, but we do expect that to happen in just a little while. You know, Officer Moreno was uh, killed, fatally wounded in the line of duty last Thursday. He would end his watch as a law enforcement officer a week ago today. He was not married or didn't have any children. He is survived by his grandparents, parents, three sisters, and a brother. As a matter of fact, his brother is also a member of SAPD and will speak at his funeral today. Also on program is Governor Greg Abbott, Mayor Ron Nirenberg, and of course, Chief William McManus. Moreno was a proud graduate of Lanier and the University of Texas. He becomes the 55th, 55th officer killed in the line of duty for the San Antonio Police Department. The first was Frederick Filstrup, who was killed back in 1857. He was the first officer to get killed, and he was shot in the line of duty as well. Live at the Alamo Dome, Marvin Hurst, Kins 5, Eyewitness News. Marvin, thank you. And of course, we're going to bring you live coverage of Officer Moreno's funeral from Community Bible Church starting today at 10 a.m.